A decision to venture into Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and report from there was indeed a risk undertaking. After preliminary preparations and briefings from the Mountain Division Commander, Major General De Colum, on areas to cover number of days to be spent in DRC, it was time to set off. <laughs> The journey to the jungles of Democratic Republic of Congo in a convoy of about 10 vehicles from the Mountain Division headquarters began at Imhot in Kabarori district. From Kabarori, we took Bundibujo Road and made a turnover at Kalgutu town to Haibare and crossed Semrik River by ferry towards Borasi in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Significant number of challenges while in the field, the dangers to personal security, lack of basic personal needs, as well as operating within an extremely complex environment. Operation Suja Commander Major General De Colum is ever supportive to journalists. He provides meter dry-ration food, water, a tent, and the other basic needs. In DRC, UPDF ensures the protection of journalists and civilians despite hardships. My friendship with the UPDF troops was to get a close view of their challenges and to find out what is needed to end the ADF atrocities in DRC at the front line. Imagine a soldier spending a year in the jungles of Ituli, Irumu and North Kivu at a war front line away from family and friends. You need to talk from both the top leadership of any formation, a brigade, division, and downwards, but also talk to the lower soldiers at the battalion and the platoon at the company levels. The reason is there are issues or there are problems that may not reach you, but once you visit these soldiers at the lower level, they give you, you are in touch, you are in full touch with exactly what these soldiers are doing and what problems they go through. So in so doing, you get a clear way of trying to sort out each and every body's problems. Soldiers staying in the jungles get injured day by day. Defending the Uganda flag is a commitment to officers and men of the UPDF. Routine movement of logistics in the convoy at night in areas where roads never existed moreover in lines of the enemy. Spending 12 hours moving at night at times trekking, covering a distance of about 60 kilometers, pushing armored carriers one after another due to bad roads. The journey provides a clear illustration of how the dense DLS jungles and the poor infrastructure in the entire eastern part of the country. The roads infrastructure in Congo here, in the eastern Congo, is a huge challenge. And that's what impedes our journeys, our movement, our troop dispositions, our logistical supplies. is a huge challenge. That's why we end up using the helicopters. In most cases, that's why our troops continue moving on foot. And uh, motorability is really affected. We have to use these special vehicles like the Urals, which are not very common and very expensive trucks. But we still manage. We still manage without any difficulties. Despite the hardships, Uganda People's Defense Forces goes through. UPDF is capable and committed force in the direct fight against the ADF. Thank God the Commander-in-Chief, the President, allows us to use these helicopters. Although, of course, minimally, not always, because it is extremely expensive to use the helicopters. But the helicopters have been, you know, a game changer in this mission. Of course, we do use transport. We use uh, trucks to move around. But the helicopters are a game changer because they are faster much as they take a smaller capacity. The helicopters help us in logistical transportation, casualty evacuation, and those snap logistical resupplies. It's rough times at the Operation Ford Base in Kainama, Butembo, Mwalika, Boga and Chabi in Eastern DRC. We set up tents that are typically military style and fit a two-inch mattress. Sleeping in a tent feels as if we are on a camping trip out for an adventure. After refreshment, the commander ushered me to my bungalow, which has a camping tent, light sleeping bag. All operation forward bases occupied by UPDF comprises temporary meter shelter tents for soldiers who sleep in intervals while guarding. Guns face the enemy line throughout. In the nutshell, there is a need for more reinforcement of troops to cover the vast jungles where the sprinter ADF groups 
are hiding, which severely limit the current UPDF troops' ability to locate and fight the enemy successfully. Mutesa Siraharuna reporting in DRC.